All right, I think we're ready to go. Okay, let's do this. Hello, my friends. Welcome back. I'm Pierre, your host. What happened to our painting? Someone stole it. No, <laughs> of course not. There it is. It's on the floor. Of course, we should have guessed. What's it doing on the floor? Well, we are going to go over to the computer and we are going to see exactly what we did yesterday to get this painting on the floor. So, a quick recap. What happened yesterday? We started off the day by doing the shading on dark green on my little planets that I love so much. And then after that, we kind of hid all the areas, you know, by masking with newspaper, the areas that we didn't want to splatter paint on. So we got the painting on the floor. We mixed up some black paint. And then we just went around the canvas and did the splattering that we do so often on this show. And then after that, before the paint dried, we took off the newspaper. So, that is where we are at today. The painting is on the floor. We're going to take it up and we're going to put it on the wall where it should be. I lent my staple gun to a friend, so uh, and he didn't bring it back, of course. So, I'm going to use little nails and we'll just nail up the painting. So, let's, uh, well, first of all, go back over here. And I will pick up this corner. Well, first of all, I'll put a couple of nails in my mouth, so I'm not going to be able to talk. And pick up this corner. Get the staple out of the way. And bring this back up here. where it belongs there we go oh fuck me Jesus Christ come on now Okay, Jesus. And we'll bring this painting up here. And this is not really where I want it. So we're off to a pretty rough start today. And let's get it here. Put it at a height where it's easier to work on without having to use a stool. So let's check out and see if this is straight first of all. Just going to step back. It looks fairly straight. Okay, I guess that's okay. So I'm just going to add maybe one more little nail right here. And I'm just going to let this loose for right now. Okay. Sheesh. What a rough start. Okay, very good. So this is probably going to be a very short uh, stream today. I am basically right now I'm going to paint the background, finish that off. It probably will need two coats. And for that, I'm going to bring this camera down just a whisper. There we go. And I have some paint kind of left over from yesterday's splattering. I wonder if it's still usable. Get rid of the excess water on the brush because I definitely don't want it dripping. 
And let's see what we can do with this paint. It is very usable, so that's good news. I don't think there'll be enough, but at least there's enough to start off. So, very good. I'll bring this camera back up to its usual place. There we go. And I'm going to start with the back black background. So, let's go over to camera number one. And let's start up here. Now, for this to be nice and opaque, I am pretty, pretty sure that I'm going to need two coats. But you never know, but I'm not too optimistic. So, let's continue. So, let me just check to make sure I'm not in front of the camera. There's nothing more annoying. Then I'll just move this over to the side a little. There we go. Yes, definitely going to need two coats, I can see already. Well, we did put two coats of the green, we did put two coats of the red. I mean, that's usually the way it goes. So I never painted this, this kind of a background before, this motif. So that's going to be interesting. Just get a little dab of paint here, I mean of water, to put in the paint. Let's take this down here. Go. Let's get it over here. Okay, let's finish uh, move the camera down a little bit so you can follow the bottom part. There we go. After I finish this left hand side, I am going to have to make more paint. I don't have any left. Okay, I'll bring this back over here, and I'm going to move back to here, and we are going to make some more paint. I'm going to first wash, wash off my hands. So it's Friday, all right. So let's get the paint together. I am going to mix two brands. I'm going to mix the Liquitex Basic Acrylic, which I'm very disappointed with because I have a feeling they went cheap on the uh, pigments. 
It's not as opaque and doesn't cover as well as it used to, and it's one of the most expensive paints. But since it's the first coat, I am going to use some of this because I'm not going to waste it. But then I'm going to mix in with it this cheaper brand of paint called I Love Art. And this has retained its opacity uh, that uh, Liquitex used to have. So um kind of uh, pissed off at Liquitex for having, uh, they changed their, 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 the pots used to be like this, which was very practical to get to the bottom and scrape the last drop of paint. Then they switched over to this, which is, I must admit, a little wider than this one is, but still not as practical as this. So when they switched over from this kind of a jar to this kind of a jar, they must have also switched in their combination of uh, polymer to uh, pigment, the ratio, because like I say, it used to cover super well. Now it doesn't cover that well. So uh, I don't know what the scoop is. I called them up, believe it or not, and I fell on an answering machine after 20 phone calls of some guy was supposedly in charge of God knows what. And of course, they never bothered to call me back, or I don't know if they, if they you know, if you call in bitch, you know, people don't uh, don't really respond. So <laughs> at least not with liquid takes a customer service. So anyways, I'm going to just add a little bit of water like this, a lot quicker. Bring this over. And uh, we are going to, okay, I got to, okay, I am going to bring this camera over here for a second, just so you can follow me as I go into my kitchen in the back here. And I'm going to clean off my knives and whatnot because, uh, I'm going to need some clean tools. So um, this is going to take just one second. Switch back here where I have a sink. And I'm going to clean off because all three of my... ...with the rag, but here it's... Here they're really filthy. There we go. Oh, happy tools, happy camper, happy painter. Put these guys away. Come back over here. We will switch back to that other camera. Very good. And I am going to mix this paint with the water. I hope I didn't put too much water. I'm going to take just a little bit out before I do the mixing. And we're going to mix this all together. So we're going to go back to number one. I feel like I'm in the uh, Umbrella Academy. Number one, number two. Whatever. We only have one, two, and three here. So let's just work this paint out. Not rocket science, it's just water and black paint. Just going to blend it in to have a nice consistency in the paint. Get rid of this excess here. There we go. Okay, that's, I do want it thick because I don't want it to drip on my painting, but this looks like it's a little too thick. So what I'm going to do is I have a chair here that I moved out of the way yesterday so we can do our splattering, and I'm going to move this chair back over. A little, there we go, just a little closer so it's easier for me to dip my brush in. 
and I can maybe pull this back so we can share this whole thing together. There we go. So my only worry now is my microphone in front of the fan. Okay, this is really thick. But maybe I'm going to leave it like that just to do the upper part of the painting like that. I'm sure it won't drip. So let's continue this. And I'll get this done here. Very good. Still going to need two coats, even though it's nice and thick. Well, that's no big deal. And I am going to put some sort of a variation on this black like a very dark gray, just to have like a little bit of a shadow effect. All right, good. And I'm going to put the brush down for us just for a second here. And I am going to come behind and get this fan and have it blow on the painting so that we can have it dry quickly so we can put that second coat on before we take off for the weekend. There we go. So, come back here and continue our Fuck, that's exactly what I wanted to avoid. So, let's get some water here. And we are going to wipe off this black paint right away with a lot of water. And we'll never know that it ever happened. Of course, if I had a clean rag, that might help. There we go. Never notice that we had a drip of the black paint. I mean, if it was going in the sense of the splattering, it would have been fine, but it wasn't. And then, like I said, no big deal. One of the nice things about acrylic paints is that if you catch it right away, you can clean it up quickly. So let's get down here. Very nice. Let's get the other side as well. Always try to do the hard part first. And that's something I do no matter what I do. I mean, if it's carpentry or building a computer, I always start with the hardest part first to end up with the easiest part once I'm a little bit tired. Never start a project uh, like at 3 or 4 in the afternoon either. Like that if you run into problems, you can always run to the store and get whatever you need or if you started a project at four, 
everything is closed and you're screwed to the next day. When I put my second coat on, I'm going to use a softer brush that won't leave as many scratch marks as this brush does. Very good. Unfortunately, there's nobody else in the building, so I can't borrow a staple gun. But it's one of my main tools. I figured my friend would bring it back the next day. And of course he didn't. Of course, he went sailing today, so I called him up anyways, just to make him feel guilty. A lot of thick paint right there. I better spread it out, otherwise it'll never dry. There we go. Let's just get this last part here. Blowing in the wind of the fan. There we go. Very good. So, let's see what that looks like standing back. Okay. Very good. I have an idea what I want to do in the black area. There's going to be a lot of gold and there's going to be a lot of intricate work. Uh, it's going to take a while. That'll be for next Monday. But I would like to get this second coat. So all here is dry. But not here, not yet. So. What can I do? Move this over maybe a little bit. Move the camera back. And move the fan a little closer. Would that help? Well, can't hurt. There we go. I'll just put that like that for a few minutes. There we go. I have like a little swig of water. Oh, that is so good. I mean, what are we, the 29th of August today? So, uh, 28th. August 28th, 2020. School starts in a couple of days. My son is dreading it. It's 
So it is still a nice hot day here in south of France, that's for sure. I'm not exactly sure what's going to go in the middle of the circle. It will be the surprise of next week. That's the kind of thing that I'm going to walk in and suddenly I'm going to decide this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to think about it like for weeks in advance, that's for sure. And maybe just to kill the time and hope for this to dry, I'm going to show you a little slideshow maybe of uh, some of my paintings. So uh, here's a, a mixture of, uh, well, I don't know. What could I show? A no slideshow right here maybe? I'm not going to make any commentary on these paintings. I'll just let, let you watch or something like this one on astrophysics. My love for Japanese art, as you can tell, my geishas. Close up of a mandala. This is a bit older when I used to work with just knife on the paint, no paint brushes. So I think we've already been around, right? Yeah, I'll just let it let the slideshow go one more time around. The paint isn't quite dry anyways behind me, so I'm not gonna sing and tap dance uh, to entertain you. All I can do is just show you some of my older paintings. And then that's about it, really. So here we are back to our geishas. Then I do also paint objects as well. I did it like a series of flower pots. So there we go. We have these guys here that I've done. You know, it's always made nice gifts uh, at Christmas time or for somebody's birthday party. You know, a nice painted flower pot. Changes from a, a print or a painting. And it's useful. So, there you go. Okay, so let's see where are we at here with our our fan and our background painting. So all this here is already dry, of course, because of the fan. And then starting from here, it's still quite wet. Well, I did put on the paint very thickly. Very thickly. Is that French or is that English? Not English for sure. Put on the paint very thick, I guess would be the correct word. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, at least get uh, the paint ready, the brush, the softer brush ready for the second coat, and maybe start on that upper left hand corner. It is Friday, we are in a rush, we do want to go to the beach and go home or whatever. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to go way back over here. Let me get out of this frame and come back over here. 
where I am going to get my softer brush, which is right here. Get him to soak a little bit. I won't have enough paint. And for the second coat, I am going to go with the better, or at least the most opaque of my blacks. Screw you, Liquitex. Expensive shit. Very good. Put the knife to soak. And wipe off my filthy hands. I'm going to come back to camera number one. So we can work this out again together and out of the way of the fan. Let me just bring the water over closer here. There we go. Put it on my desk behind the fan. And we're just going to work this together. Hopefully my microphone is out of the way. So you hear the fan and the microphone is so annoying. I try to do my best to avoid it, but sometimes I don't think about it, or or like now the fan is on medium height. I sh maybe I should put it full blast for a few minutes. Should I do that? Okay, I'll do that. And I'll stand just a little further back so you don't hear it too much. So this is very thick. So I am going to just water this down just a little bit. There we go. Just a little bit more water. And I'll just be careful so to avoid all catastrophes. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let me just get rid of the excess paint off the brush right there. Push it down below. So, let me bring this, the fan all the way over here. So I can get that right hand side. And I am going to tackle the left hand side. Bring everything over. There we go. So we don't trip over the wiring. And let's tackle this here. So since this is the second coat, I don't have to be that precise on the edges. So that means that I can go a lot quicker. I'm going to try to get close, but not as close as before. There we go. And with the softer brush, you don't see any of the streaking which is nice. There we go. I do need a little bit of water. So I'm going to just bring the water back here on that chair. So the next question I have to ask myself is, am I in the way of the camera? 
being the professional that I am, I do think about that. And let's get down this area here. Like I said, we don't have to be all that precise if we're within an eighth of an inch. That is perfect. Stab of water. This heat is evaporating very quickly. And I am looking forward to doing my laundry, washing my washing my t-shirt that I paint with because Lord of mercy does it smell. I don't think I've ever sweated as much because I never painted in August as much as I have since I started streaming. So this is very nice. Oop. There we go. We'll let the bottom part dry first and we're going to move up to the top. Move this fan over a little bit. Actually, I'm going to move the fan completely back because it is going to be in my way. A blow, blow, baby, right in the microphone. So, jeez. Okay, let's get a little bit of water. Okay, I cannot continue, I cannot continue until the paint is dry, until that first coat is completely dry, because I can feel it sticking on the brush, it's not, uh, I, I'm going to screw things up, it's going to be a waste of time. So you know what, we are going to end this stream, we are going to end the stream like this. And Monday morning, we'll put on the second coat. Uh, there's no point of uh, forcing forcing things to go. Uh, I mean, of course, I could wait another 40 minutes and do it later. But the point of the stream is to share everything together. So it's no big deal. Like I say, it's Friday, and who gives a hoot uh, if we continue or not? So we'll um, continue this painting on. Monday, and uh, like usual, I want to thank you very much for joining me. I uh, hope you've enjoyed yourself. Uh, it's been a, an eventful day somehow, but uh, it's been fun anyways. So I want to wish you a great weekend, and I hope you'll join me Monday morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. And until Monday, I'll leave you with my schedule and say, ciao, mes amis.